What up, people? We're playing. Have Ryan. And we're in Ethan Mars at Ethan Mars' house. And it's 1.7 inches. Of rain. <laughs> Sean! 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 When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. What does that mean? What is this? I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Give me a ticket for an aeroplane. It looks like the ticket to a locker. This angel on the ticket. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before. I think I know where this ticket comes from. I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. What? I know it's me. Oh, no, you idiot. That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. Yeah, it really doesn't. Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink all night. Ha ha! You didn't see me leave, even though the guy's facing me. The luggage lockers. They're on the other side of the station. Move. Maybe I could come back later. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I can't go on. Ah. Uh. No time to waste. I need. I, I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Get moving. Just keep walking, you bum. Stop strangling yourself. What's wrong with you? to roll. Dad! <gasps> Jason! Dad, where are you? Jason! <laughs> Jason!
Jason! Jason, come back! You gotta be kidding. Jason! Dad! The balloon! Gotta get the balloon! Where is it? Jason! Jason. It's Jason. He's there. He's right there. This time I'll save him. This Jason! time he won't get hit by a car. The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. Jason! Dad! What? Jason! What you doing, bro? <laughs> Everybody's doing that. Oh, we made it. Jason! A nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason... Jason is dead. Jason! Line 18, box number 3. How close can we get? Made it! I made it! I managed to get through the goddamn crowd! Whee! The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. What was it? Line 18, box number 3. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Line 18, box number 3. Line 18, box number 3. This is 19. Now stop it! The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Where's 18? Ah, stop spinning! Oh! What? 19, 17, where the hell was 18? Twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. 17, 17, yes, where's 18? Oi! Ole, 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 ole. Anybody there? Who doesn't want it to be like a piece of Sean? VRP? Lucky lock up! A shoebox? What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? <laughs> I took a room in the first motel I saw. Am I the one who, who put this box in the locker? Schizo! I don't remember! <sighs> Jesus. Lots. Oh, excuse me.
Are you prepared to show courage to save your son, Joe's Garage and Parking Lot 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington? And now it's gonna be Norman Jaden. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, he so he has space. a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! What, well, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. What? I'm gonna kill you. Go for it. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! <laughs> That's Fucking enough. asshole! 
Throw the chair at him. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. Fuck me, asshole! How much time do we have left? About 12 inches. Four forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. Fucking asshole! Uh oh. Gotta hang out with this guy that I don't like. Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. Knock on the door. Get on the floor. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Do it. There is now. Oh. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. <sighs> Call the cops. Jesus! Ha! Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Christ. He's a God-fearing idiot. Waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. Oh, he just wants to burn his house down. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Well, no warrant, no problem for Blake. He thinks his badge entitles him to do whatever he wants. The guy's taking a break from reality. Hold up here in this crazy apartment. Oh. <laughs> I've got a fright by that. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. More drugs. He's about to sneeze. More drugs. What? What did that achieve? Where did the guy go? Stop it! Man,
Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Uh. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Okay. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. I guess Blake's trying to break him, but what good is a confession what if he does? does? He to you, Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. He mustn't talk about Maybe it. Maybe Blake knows what he's doing after he all. He wants you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more. I got to more. do something. That's enough. Leave him alone. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him Better here. Better just stand down and leave Blake to it. He told you to go and find Cut that kid shit. in the park. Are the you out of your mind? Tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? I gotta stop Blake. He's going too far. Stop. Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? What's Blake looking for? Why is he pushing no! him over the edge? Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake! Shoot! You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for Antichrist, that. Antichrist, my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace! Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Christ all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest What are you talking about? Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Back away, slowly. Drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Oh. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Motherfucker! In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak. The show's over. Oh, You're under arrest. Show him. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps.
that's the end of us playing this for today because I am tired and I've got a trophy self-control and I'm exercising self-control right now by not playing any longer because it is 11 o'clock at night and I've got work in the morning but thank you very much for tuning in and it's been lots of fun as always and I think we're ready to start doing some of the trials tomorrow as Ethan although it looked like we were Scottish but anyway stop it anyway bye